All right then guys. In this video, I want to set up Visual Studio Code for Laravel developers and honestly, if you want to see a video of another code editor, just let me know and I will add it. Before we continue on, if you like my content and you want to see more, there's a red button down below which says subscribe. So if you want to see more, just click on it and otherwise enjoy the video. Now, like I said, Visual Studio Code is incredible to use whenever you're on a Mac, Linux or Windows. Even though I use PHP Storm a lot as well, I think you can get your Visual Studio Code quite like PHP Storm with adding the right extensions. So let's hop to google.com and let's search for Visual Studio Code. And we need the first link which will redirect us to the Visual Studio Code website. So let's click on it. All right then, the download process is pretty straightforward. I think the download button will change based on the operating system you are using. But if it isn't, click on the drop down menu and click on the operating system that you are using. So I'm using Mac, so let me click on download for Mac. And all right then, pause the video and I will see you back when the download process is done. Now that our download process is done, let's open and see what happens. All right, in my downloads folder, you can see a Visual Studio Code application. So let's double click on it. Well, Visual Studio Code is an app downloaded from the internet. Let's open it anyways. And our code editor just opened. If we try to use our Laravel project in here from the bat, it will work, but it's awful to use. So therefore, we need to add a couple extensions which will make it a lot easier for us. But before I do that, let's make it bigger. Let's close off the release notes and the welcome screen as well. I want to quickly show you how you could adjust your Visual Studio Code to your preferences. Now, if we go to code, click on it, let's open preferences, and let's go to settings. Right here, you will find a list of all the settings that you can change. And if you're on a Windows, you basically need to go to file, preferences, and then settings. If I could give you advice, try not to adjust a lot of things, but mostly the basic things. So think about the font size, the font family, tab size, easy stuff rather than auto save delay or well, let's say the multi-cursor modifier. Of course, whenever you open your code, you can zoom in, but you could also change your font size. So right now, mine is 112, let's change it to 16. I'm all right with the default settings for now. Pause the video, take your time to adjust some settings right here, and I'll see you back in a second. The next thing that I would like to show you is how we could change the color scheme. If your operating system is a Windows, go to File, Preferences, Color Team. And on the Mac, let's go to Code. Once again, click on Preferences, and let's go to Color Team. There's also a shortcut on a Mac, so let's close it. Let's hit Command KT. And all right, right now you can see all the color themes that we could use. So once again, pause the video. Test a couple out and see which one you prefer. And don't be worried, the output will always be the same. This is just the color scheme that you like. What I like is just the default dark, but well, let's test Monokai for once, and you can see that the color changes. Now, I want to go back to my Visual Studio default one, which is the color theme that I prefer. Now, to open our extensions, let's go to Code again, Preferences, and let's click on Extensions. And oh yeah, it's also in the sidebar, right here. So let's click on it. Our extensions are gone. And if we click on it one more time, you'll basically see the marketplace right here. A cool thing about Visual Studio Code, and honestly most code editors is, well, you can add languages, debuggers, and a lot of other tools to speed up your development process. Now, what I would like to do is to search for an extension called Laravel Artisan. It's the first option, it's created by Ryan Nettie. What Laravel Artisan allows us to do is to perform commands in the terminal of Visual Studio Code. What we've done so far was opening our own personal terminal. I'll show you later on how we could use the terminal of Visual Studio Code itself. Now let's click on the install button and our installation process is done. It's that quickly. So let's continue on with the next extension since we've got a lot of extensions to add. The second one is called Laravel Blade Snippets. And it's the first option again. It's created by Winnie Lin. 
And Laravel works with HTML. Well, let's actually click on install and I'll tell you what it is. But it comes with a powerful templating engine called Blade. And by installing this extension, we basically have a syntax highlighter, which is awesome, as you can see in the screenshot on my screen. Now, the next extension that I need is called Laravel Blade Spacer. It's the first one created by Austin Cameron. So let's click on install. You can also see the amount of downloads. Well, this one has 100,000, which is quite a lot. When working with PHP and HTML, you always have to wrap your PHP code inside the opening and closing PHP tag. It's a little bit different because of the Blade templating. Now in Blade, as you can see in the screenshot, we wrap Laravel or PHP stuff inside a double set of curly braces, as you can see right here. Now you obviously want a little bit more spacing around it, and that's what this extension basically does. It adds a space to the left and to the right of the text where you want to type in, as you can see right here. All right, the next extension that I would like to download is called Laravel. Go to view. Let me see if I can zoom in. All right, this is way better. Now it's the first one created by coding you. Let's click on the install button. And what this extension basically does is whenever you hover over a file name that you add, so let's say you're returning a view from your controller or inside your form, you can basically hover over it and go straight to the file instead of searching for it in the sidebar, as you could see in the screenshot. You can see a controller right here called foo.bar. It hovers over it and it goes straight to the view. This is also handy when you have an error and you want to double check if your path is correct. You could always hover over it and see if it's correct or not. Now let's move on to our next extension because we got a lot more to install. The next one is called Laravel Snippets. All right. Let's click on install and it's by the same developer called Winnie Lin. And what this does is whenever you're typing a word, Visual Studio Code recognizes a prefix and you can easily get an option to fill in the rest of the text. So you don't need to write out every single word as you could see in the screenshot. Now let's continue on because we need Laravel Extra IntelliSense. It's created by Amir. It has 167,000 downloads. Let's click on install. You could basically see this extension as an extra Laravel snippet. This basically auto completes route names, params, views, variable configs, the .env file, middlewares, and a lot more. You could also scroll down by the way and see what it actually does if you want more information about a specific extension. Now, the next extension is a pretty important one called, let's say, Live SAS Compiler. Laravel Mix is a wrapper built to work efficiently with Webpack. And Webpack is an open source JavaScript module builder. What we need is something to compile our SAS or SCSS files to CSS. And that's what this does. It's the first one created by Ridgewick Dev. Let's click on install. And you probably don't understand right now why we need a live SAS compiler when we're working with Laravel. But later on, where we're designing our website, you will definitely understand why we do this. And since we're on the topic of styling, we could also search for, let's say, beautify CSS. And I want a second option because I want a beautifier for SCSS, SAS, CSS, and less. So let's click on it. It has more than 700,000 downloads. Let's click on install. And I think the name speaks for itself. You can beautify your styling. Since we've actually added our Laravel IntelliSense, let's go on and install our PHP IntelliSense as well. So let's search for PHP IntelliSense. It's created by Felix Becker. And it has 4.5 million downloads, which is quite a lot. And let's install it. I won't explain to you what it is because it's actually the same as our Laravel extension, but this one is purely for PHP. Now, the next one that I need is called getter slash setter generator. It's the third one created by Agustin Martinez Ibarra. Let's click on install. And I don't think that this is a must have extension, but it's pretty handy to have. If you have a set of properties and you want to generate getters and setters of them, 
you easily can you can do that easily instead of well copy pasting it every single time as you can see in the screenshot you select the properties that you have and you can generate getters and setters of them the next few extensions are not necessary but they will help you develop better laravel code the first one is called bracket pair colorizer it's created by Kunrad S. It has 3.8 million downloads. Let's click on install. Even though it's not necessary, I think we can conclude that this is a pretty darn good extension. Now you've probably worked with code where you have lots of if statements, loops near each other, or even inside each other. What this extension does is changing the curly braces color of every single set. So you can detect easily if you're missing one or not. As you can see right here, the if statement has a blue curly brace, but the entire function has a purple one. So you can easily detect which curly braces pair. Now the next extension is called Emmet Life. And it's the second one created by Yuri. Let's click on install. And this is my go-to extension when I install a new code editor. Whenever I work with HTML and PHP, I don't want to write out every single word. And with Emmet, you can basically write down div or any other shortcut, hit tab, and it will auto complete the word with a greater than and less than symbol around it. Let's also install GitHub. We don't need it, but I'll do this for you because I know that it is very important to have. It's created by Knister Peter. Let's click on install. There might be a big chance in this course where we're going to use JavaScript. So let's go ahead and write down JavaScript. We need the second extension. It has 4.2 million downloads. Let's click on install. And what this basically does is the same as IntelliSense, but then for JavaScript. And the last extension that I want to add is called VS Code, create icons. And it's the first one created by Emmanuel Ziad. Let's click on install. And what this does is basically adding an icon right in front of the file name so you can detect which type of file it is. You can see it when you look at the file extension. But if you're working on large projects, it is awesome to use. Now this was it for installing our Visual Studio Code. We might add a couple more extensions later on when we're deeper in the course. But this is what you need to start off your Laravel projects in Visual Studio Code. Now what I would like to do next is to go and install PHP Storm and add some extensions to it.